The following will contain adult language and themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Thanks for watching. Okay, for the past two weeks, you've been traveling to this destination here. And some of you may have been staying there, in fact. Uh, traveling, basically, it's just south of the Sigil River, right nestled in close to the mountains here. Uh, this is the kingdom of Numeron. If you actually scroll down uh, to the second map, uh, you'll see there's a major city. You're in one of the suburbs, well, probably about 100 miles out. Uh, right where that river curves a little bit. Oh. Uh, now this city is a fairly decent size. It's a well medium size for uh, you know this this particular region. Uh, it has a couple of different districts, and specifically, you're heading to uh, one of the poorer sides of it. Um, when you kind of enter the poorer district there, um, you'll notice a very large wall extending a good portion of all of the city and even going further out into the distance. Uh, this is uh, the wall into uh, Anobi's claim. Uh, this is basically where Numeron and Libertius uh, expel all of their prisoners and, and uh, any vagrants or people that they just want to get rid of, they'll put them and send them out into Anobi's claim. Uh, so it's so Australia, but cold? Basically, yeah. <laughs> it's a prison prison area. Uh, so this is the city. This is actually where you are right now. If you scroll up a little toward the top, uh, right now between, right at the top, you'll see the gate, and that's the wall. Where? Uh, very top of the screen you're on right now. If you scroll up. To uh, the very they top. are. They are still We're on, the, map. on the, the world maps. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. It didn't follow. Okay. That's there just, uh, yep. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Now you should pop over. Yes. Oh. Okay, so at the very top, you'll see the, the sprawling wall straight across. Uh, you can see it's guarded very well. Uh, we're standing right now in front of, or most of you are standing right now in front of uh, an inn, and that's where this expedition has put you up uh, for the, the, the night in order to prepare for your journey. Uh, time right now is about 6 a.m. You're getting an early start here, and... Did I put... Jacko's character up. Yeah, okay, I did. Uh, Jacko, you'll recognize this person that's uh, going to be coming up here in a second. Yeah. Eventually. So, uh... Hmm. Oh, there they are. Uh, this is an Very elvish woman. Uh, her name is Aranel. And she'll ah, be leading the expedition. Now. So she walks up to you and she says, oh, hello, uh, you're actually one of three groups that we're traveling with. Uh, we're traveling in caravan format. Um, hope your accommodations were n nice tonight. Uh, any problems? Did you guys sleep okay? Uh, I believe so. That's addressed to all of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, it was decent. Could have been better. I don't sleep. Yeah, I mean, this is the poorer section. You know, we don't have a lot of funding right now. Hopefully, we'll find some on this, and, and we'll all get rich. Uh -huh. Hopefully, we'll find something more interesting than gold, though. Wait, that guy doesn't hmm. sleep. <coughs> if you're not Almost. interested, you can give it she to had me. To, she had to prepare, so. Okay, so uh, why don't you get familiar with each other? We got some last-minute preparations to, to, to do. Uh, I'm not sure have any of you, if, if any of you have met each other. Um, so go ahead and introduce yourselves. And in the meantime, uh, I'll be sending something. I can't move my character. Um, so just go ahead and jump in, introduce yourselves to each other. Oh, well, hello. 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 Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, yes. I'm fairly decent. Um, how are you? Um, I'm doing good, except for this back cramp. Uh, back cramps. Traveling does that. So, um, I'm a sucker, and... And... Oh, yeah. Uh, if you Ooh. want, hello, do you want them to go by one uh, by one, introduce what their character look like? Yeah. Actually, that would be good. Yeah, I mean, that that's, could be a good start here. Yeah. 
Well then, uh... I'll start with Isaka. Isaka. Who are you? Uh, Where are you from? Um, um, well, I come from, uh, damn, I didn't prepare this. Uh, I, I can be a very shy person. Can I go next? Sure. All right, who wants to go? I'll go up. Uh, All right, Chuck, go for it. So, I'm Call. Um, I'm a dwarven wizard from the deserts to the west. And, uh, <coughs> I just want gold. Okay. That's it. Uh, well then, I, yeah, I don't think anyone can move, really. Um, well then, I guess I'll go next. Ignore the children in the back. Uh, yes. Well, I'm a researcher who has came from the, the lands to the south. And I've come to because of interest in Novi's claim to study its history and just the general nature of the area. Uh, my name is Yilmir, and I am a fetchling. Can, can you repeat your name? Yilmir. <laughs> you you sound like some sort of hammer I once knew. <laughs> ah, delightful. Um, I, th I think I have yeah, the yeah. courage now. Get used to having many nicknames. Um, okay. Uh, are, are you fish Mr. Yumir? I'm, I, I think of the courage. Um, so, after my, my shy moment, I may sky, I'm a, I'm a solie. I'm normally taller than some people, but... I just make way with it. I come from a far land of which you may not have heard, may not have heard of, and um, I came for an adventure and a, and a conquest, something to almost like a life goal, I guess you could say. Yeah. I guess I'll go next. My name's Evelyn. <laughs> Uh, I Black come line, from a smaller obviously. village, and I'm basically here uh, to find out more about my family, whether people know I'm here or not. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Oh, well. Cool. Hmm. My turn? I would assume so. Uh, my name's Albel. This is my Adelon Corazzo. Um, Very hi, interesting looking. Hey. Um, Aren't you the guy who can't sleep? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, that could probably be an issue. Uh, I've been sent on this, sent to this party because of a punishment. I slaughtered an entire village for being drunk. Oh, so either that's... spend uh, my entire life in jail, um... or help you guys succeed your mission and get my freedom back. That, I like a very it. Very interesting story. Well then, if you'd like, I'll, I'll just stay in this. the back. Um, but what do you mind? What do you mind the handshake, along. sir? Yeah. Um. Maybe it wasn't the drunkest, and maybe the It was a sleep? command from uh, a king. Oh, well. Maybe you should sleep more. Yeah. Why, hello, maybe. cat folk. How are you? Do introductions. I have a name. I know. But you're a very nice looking cat person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that fur looks mighty warm. <laughs> Yes. It's so, uh, uh, if you guys have all got to uh, know each other here. Well, it was an awkward introduction, but I think that was close enough to getting to know each other. Wait, I oh. never I never learned the name of uh, that crow. Oh, yes. You oh, seem to have a familiar It's not a crow, it's a raven. This is Lucian. Crow, parrot, same thing. Crow, parrot. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. He seems very intelligent. Can he speak? 
Yes. Huh. I will have to only prefers to, to speak E. Ah. Well, if you guys Is are all bite? set, we're uh, we're all ready to go here. I believe we've gotten introductions out of the way. Okay, great. Close all right. Uh, here's how this is going to work. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just pipe in. Uh, I'm really informal. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be traveling in, like I said, groups of three. Uh, each of you will take turns kind of being in front. And uh, this is a pretty dangerous area. So basically, I want you to be on the lookout and uh, try to handle anything yourself. Uh, but of course, uh, I'll be overseeing as well. So if uh, I need to jump in and the rest, everybody needs to fight. Uh, Will by all means do so. Uh, go ahead. May I? May I ask of you what kind of dangers are in this area? We know of the prisoners. We've heard of the prison state of the colony. But what kind of creatures would be in the area? Oh, uh, there's a large you have, have, number have of any different. Idea? Yeah, there's a large number of different creatures that uh, anything that could potentially survive in the Arctic is likely north of these gates. So hmm. uh, there's there's a pre pretty wide variety. Um. Are there any civilized areas, or is it all... Well, that's actually the goal of this expedition, is to find out if there ever was or ah. is civilization beyond these this area. Uh, that's why, you know, that's we've been looking for people, and, and uh, we're going to see if we can't find something out there that uh, would be considered, like, a, a civilized, organized society. Ah, seems very interesting. Well, hmm. any other um, questions from the party? Um, where will be where will we be heading first? Uh, if I can ask. Uh, we're gonna kind of follow the mountains a little bit. Uh, obviously, first step is to get over the river. Uh, there's a little bit of a forested area, like a, a taiga, if you will. Uh, and then we'll be getting into the mountains, following the mountains around, and setting up a, a main search area uh, somewhere in the center. Okay. That's the plan for now, anyway. Well oh, then, um, right. you happen to know that of any shops? That still scares or, me. Oh, do you have? Yes. Do you happen to know of any shops or places around here where we may prepare? I feel like we could be we could uh, spend some time getting prepared for this expedition. Uh, well, you, you should have been doing your shopping uh, beforehand. Uh, is there anything additional you wanted to purchase? I can definitely um... direct you. Would you? Would any of you like to peruse the shop? Is the wares around this area, or would you like to just go ahead on the event, go ahead and head off when they're prepared? Um, I, I personally, I feel prepared, but I don't know about the the rest. I want to go see what this guy has to say. Hmm. I guess we could check around. Yeah, well, let her... uh, he just hmm. kind of grunts at you and uh, just kind of passes passes you off. He doesn't really respond. Really? And then, and then you hear Aaron will call. Like, I, I really can't have you guys splitting up like this. If you guys want to be, uh, not not be a part of this, we need to stick together and we need to get moving pretty soon. So we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of daylight up here. Okay, then. Okay. Um, this far north. Then we head out. Well, then we, uh... I guess we shall head off. <laughs> Perhaps wait for the rest of the party. I mean, you're you're welcome to pick up some last minute stuff, but uh, yeah, a after we leave these walls, though, keep in mind that uh, it could be. A while before we get back to civilization. Well, I have my shaving kit, and from my shaving kit, I see I am ready. Yeah, I, I believe that uh, you know the the people that helped you to shop before uh, uh, most likely prepared you with everything you'll need. So. Okay. Well then, if we are well prepared, lead the way, madam. All right. So you guys exit through the north gates, along with about, like I said, about ten to fifteen other people. Uh, your group is going to be traveling sort of in the twilight hours, uh, being that uh, uh, you have a single person that has a specific disability in extreme light, so hmm. uh, so you'll be the, the last shift of the day. Okay, then. Let's head off. Asica? Asica, I think? Here yes. we go. Well, yeah. then. Let's head off. Uh, off we go. Uh, this is a very slow opening gate. Oh, yeah. 
That's a game. Well, it's obviously man's my man. Yes. Yeah. Wow. It probably has manpower behind it. Most likely. It is. It my is other one tries to lift city. the gate. Whoa. We're getting there. Very odd sounding gate. <laughs> Here's some really there, weird horses. Hmm. The area looks deserty, surprisingly. Okay, uh, so at this point, you have come into uh, basically what's uh, the beginning of the mountains, the, the foothills of the mountains, if you will. Um, path off to the right, it looks like a path that's kind of collapsed over on the right side. So you're, you're on point, and you're going to be following the, uh, the path. Huh. Uh, All right. So you guys can move and act as you please, but uh, just keep in mind you're uh, you're you're on the, the point of the adventure here. And you can see you're um, uh, kind of looking over your shoulder a bit. But... Ah, best thing. Um, <laughs> obviously she traps. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> hmm. Is there any, in, can I check, is there any sort of interesting top topography or anything around here that would help us, or anything of that sort? Uh, you or can just roll a perception check for me. Roll a perception check? Okay, let me get up perception. Hello, okay. Lucian. Um, as you get there, uh, Asica, you realize that you cannot <laughs> Are see, you uh, there's, there's the no bird? way past through there. So. Can I use spider Okay, code? then. I rolled a 20. Can I use spider time? <laughs> uh, do as you look, it's a sheer wall of ice to the right. Uh, likely you're not going to be able to get up that side at all. Uh, you're really kind of forced onto the left. Um, and also, these mountains are, are a lot taller than they look. They're... Ah. I turn around and I slowly walk back because I'm very sad. <laughs> I mean, you could try climbing that to the right, but it's going to take a lot of energy and it's going to take you up. Ah, probably, Lucian, get off me! Probably an hour to, to climb that right <laughs> Okay, well then, um, I believe we could press forward at this point. I don't seem to see anything of note, and, well, hmm. um, I mm -hmm. guess we shall it's head all, forwards crossroads. It's all stuck together. Yeah, yeah well, semi. So, all right, as you pass that together. area right there, uh, roll a perception for me. Roll everybody. perception, okay. everybody, everybody can do this. How, how do you do this? Uh, open up your character oh. sheet. Scroll down to your skills section. Uh, when you get to your skills section, you're going to uh, find perception. Yeah, it's going to be on the left. And oh, yep, you found it. Good. <laughs> oh, well then. Okay. Uh, well, first off, um, oh, okay, you rolled for Grazo as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in any case, uh, just about everybody can see this except for. Too? Uh, no, that's okay. Everybody can see this except for Eslin. Um, ah. You see, standing on top of the hill to your right, um, what looks to be an all blue person. An all blue and what? Person. Person. And you should have oh. seen him just pop ah. in right there. Yep. Wait, only land? Uh, no, everybody except for land can see this. So you can all see this this blue person. They seem to be holding a bow at the ready, aimed at you. Oh, that's delightful. Would you like to hmm. try to talk to the person at all, or um, I aim my crossbow at the blue person. No, no, <laughs> we're under attack. We're, we're we're yells, showing, we're showing. What do you guys mean? He now yells down to you, uh, very loudly in a booming voice. Stop sending your wanted criminals into my lands. Ah. Oh, see, see what have you see what you've done? Um, hmm. May I try to speak to him? Yeah. Or is he too far away? Uh, no, he's he's you can you can yell to him. He's okay. He, remember, he's got he got, he's got a bow trained on you though. Ah. Okay. Well then, that's great. Good charisma. Um. Sir, we have not come to put you in, into. We have not come to put prisoners in your land. We have just come to study it. We're very interested. It's a beautiful place, and we've just came to see of your local cultures and, and survey the area. 
and my dwarven friend happens to want gold. Either way, are we not going to mention back. the scary man? Either way, please turn back and stop coming closer to me, or else we will attempt to kill you. Wait, can, can I talk to him? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you mean by we? Would you like to find out? Just turn back. That's all I'm asking uh, you to do. And stop sending your, your, your criminals into my land. Uh, Sorry, we can't. I pull out oh. my heavy crossbow. Let, let's whisper. Damn it. Let's whisper. Don't pull anything out just yet. Okay. When you go to draw your weapon at that I point, uh, he is uh, now agitated at the point where he's going to try to hurt you. So everybody roll initiative for uh, me. Click on your character tokens and roll your initiative. What is that? Uh, when you How click on your that? token, on the top left, there should be a uh, an option for initiative. I don't, I don't see it. You had to draw the crossbow on the ice man. So you, I don't, click, I don't know what's click, initiative. Uh, it's when you <laughs> when you act. So you click on your character. Yes. Um, and for some reason, yeah, it's not showing. Okay, yeah, I see that. Let me adjust that. Okay, try it now. Uh, click off your okay. and then back onto it. Yes. And then roll initiative. Perfect. And then... Had to draw your crossbow at the end. We yeah. have everyone's initiative. We were under attack. We've out here for how long and we're already <laughs> picking fights with people? We've already <laughs> made enemies. <laughs> we're under attack. Um, he seemed like we a very interesting... <laughs> He was... oh. Thank you. Okay. Did my character actually get in there? I don't think he did. No. Hmm. Um, how far away would he happen to be? Uh, Ice you can man. actually, you can measure that yourself. Uh, on the left side, oh. yep, some, somebody about fifty it. feet. Uh, yeah. So you have about a ruler. About fifty feet. Yeah, there's a little ruler on the left, top, top left, and fifty-five. You on that. There you go. You got uh, about it. sixty feet from me. Fifty-five. Okay, okay the Very first person that's going to be acting is Jacko. Yulmir. Yulmir. <laughs> ah. Let me look through what I have. Is he prone and ready to attack? Uh, you have a pretty good indication that he's ready to attack. He hasn't actually attacked yet. May I try to use detect magic on him to detect any sort of just magical qualities or anything of that sort? Uh, yeah, if you'd like to. I believe that's a standard action. Yes, yes that's uh, a standard, standard action. action. Another, another option is you can do a knowledge check to see if you know about this person ah, or... Well, the... Um, okay, then. I have a, really quick, I have a spell called Know Thy Enemy. Okay. It uh, gives me attempts on knowledge checks towards things of that sort. Sure. Um, is that a standard action? Will that take my uh, is, is it a spell, or is it an ability, uh, like something else? It's a spell. Uh, yeah, that's a, usually a standard action. It'll actually say in the spell description. Um, should be a standard I action, though. Okay then. All I... spells, all spells are standard action unless said otherwise. Yep. Hmm. I'd I'd just like to see if we could know anything about him. The knowledge check then. What okay. we know about this creature, so... if we have any knowledge of his. Sure, sure. Uh, roll a, a knowledge local. Or a knowledge or, or, local. Or, or a knowledge nature. That'd probably work or, as well. Oh, either. Either one. Oh well then, I know what I'm rolling, so I have a bonus in one of those. Um, let me go down to knowledge. Okay. Knowledge nature, did you say? Okay, uh, then. Knowledge nature. Mm -hmm. Or or local, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Six. You yeah. really don't know much about them. Uh, you happen to, the, you might have heard the name before of Frostman, but ah, you don't know anything about he's them. He's blue. 
he's blue and he's cold. Very interesting. Yeah, you don't know specifically what Frostman means, but uh, Frostman is, really... is is the name that kind of pops into your head. Ah. Uh, and... Now, since you haven't cast a spell or anything like that, you can still attack. You can move, and you can uh, cast a spell. Either one of uh, a I variety can cast of those a things. Spell. Yeah. Does you he can... too far away to uh, examine his surrounding? What's that? To examine the, his surrounding, is it too far to do like a perception? Oh no, you can do a perception, uh, but uh, wait for your turn. But yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, no problem. Mm. Uh, I believe I'll just make movement at this point. My none of my range, I don't believe will. Um, will uh, this work? You can move up to six squares uh, or thirty feet uh, for you. Uh, I think the only one that has a movement restriction right now is um, okay. Cha, Cha, you can only move twenty feet. Ah, okay then. I Dang still it. move to this location then. Okay. Perhaps I can get a better scope of him from here. Sure, sure. Okay then. And is that gonna end your turn? That will end my turn. Okay. Uh, Asica. Um. I turn around and talk to whoever is behind me. Who, who's behind me? I need to ask something. Uh, next to me. Yeah. Oh. Who is that? I'm the only one next to you. Oh, okay. Well then, <laughs> is it too Ow. early to attack? It's never too early to attack. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I feel like my team's going to get. Me. I want to know who the we is. Um. Does does it matter? We'll we'll probably find out after we kill him. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, how would you find anything out that Wait, way? we we come to study. We come to gain knowledge, and you are already attacking them. Okay. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Um, could I use vanish and get near him? Um, you can use yeah, definitely use vanish uh, as a standard and action, is... and then you can move up to thirty feet. Okay, vanish. Let me measure this. Where this is thirty feet. Um, where would be smart? A oh, high there. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. It would be here, right? Oh, and back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Yep, you're good. Hit then. Um. Okay, mm. and that concludes your turn, I believe. Uh, Eldo. Uh, I can move thirty feet. Uh, you can move up to thirty feet. Yep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! Five I move up and we're already trying to kill and people. aim my crossbow at him. Okay. And are you gonna shoot, or do you want to just prepare? And no, um, uh, to intimidate him, try to like uh, make him drop his weapon. And I didn't actually mention this to uh, to you either, uh, so let me repeat this uh, for you as well, Jacko. Uh, at any point, you can ready to take an action. So like, if you don't want to shoot first, you can get ready in case he shoots, and then if he shoots, then you can shoot back. That's I get awesome. ready. Okay, so you're gonna ready to do what? Okay. Uh... Yeah, right. your turn order would actually change in response to that. Just yeah, to... it will. Yeah, it will affect that. <sighs> may May I ask him if there's any way we can solve this peacefully at this point? No. Or or, <laughs> or is he? <laughs> um, I would probably have you do that on your turn. But yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll... That that's an option to do it. Then use him. No, just kidding. Next person. <laughs> okay. Well then. So I get ready and end my turn. Uh, what are you going to ready yourself to do? Uh, ready to shoot. Okay. Uh, don't you get to move... Cor Wait, that's a separate turn. Okay, so everybody roll a perception check for me. Okay. Alright. Uh. It was initiative, right? Or which one did we click? Uh, perception. So it's under your skills. Oops, I rolled your character two sheet. of them by the same time. By the same time. Sorry. Okay. Oh wow. Take the first one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget, forget, forget. Oh. Where's perception? Uh, 
Wow, I'm just killing on these fucking checks. Okay, is that everybody? I believe it is. <laughs> 22. Okay, so Jacko's the only one that sees this. You see little bumps in the ground. Uh, probably about 20, 30 feet in front of you. And you're not quite sure what they are, but they seem to be moving. Oh! Okay, um, then. So I'm the still frostman, vanished. So the Frostman is going to fire his bow at the closest person that he can see. Uh, so... Uh, does an 18 hit your armor class? Ah. Verde. Verde? Where'd I look? Uh, so you're under armor. your character sheet. Uh, on the right, underneath your hit points. There AC? AC? Yep. 16. I think it does. Okay. So it hits. Ah. And he is going to do... The, the suspense. Okay. He's going to do seven damage to you. Uh, call, it is your turn. Got it. All right, so. Just going to move up five feet. And... With my crossbow in hand, I shall fire at the Frostman. That's four. Okay. Oh, and just a uh, real quick, by the way, Jacko, did you tell everybody else that there's bumps moving in the ground or no? So you can do that as a free ah, action. Um, I can do that as a free action. Then yeah. yes, I will, I will tell everyone about the bumps. Okay. And just so you're aware... Well, actually, I'm just going to bring them into the, the front. Just make it easier. So hey, um. Ooh. Oh boy, it, it's it's the badger from Avatar. It's a bunch of mole badgers. And so badger weird. moles. Badger moles. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> large amounts of badger mole. Okay then. Well. Okay. Uh, and sorry, call. You can keep going. So. Um. So I fire at uh the frost man. Okay, so roll your crossbow attack. All right. Can I roll it from my sheet, or do I need to roll it manually? Uh, roll it from your sheet. That, that's easy enough. Probably easy way, easiest way to start. So. Uh, five will ah. not hit. Ah. Dang it. <laughs> well, I tried. Uh, just... If you... So you guys know, you guys can drag buttons from your character sheet as macros. Oh. I should yes, probably do that with my damage, then. So, now what? Uh, well, you can still move, and also, if you want to, you can uh, attempt another perception check, being that, that did, Jacko, did you tell people about the little... Yes, I moving? did. I did tell them about the bumps. Okay, so you can attempt a perception check as well. All right. I will turn around, seeing that I missed, and hide behind these guys. <laughs> and... <laughs> Great. Oh, boy. There you this go. is why we, why we shouldn't have attacked. <laughs> yes. This was um... a horrible idea. <laughs> we haven't even been out here that long. Anyone else? Um, uh, wait, we can do what? Uh, no, it's, uh, I was just wondering if he had anything else, Kel. Any uh, other uh, movements nope, that's at it. all? J nope, just, just call. Nope. Yeah. Nothing okay. else. All right, Grazo. Verde's idol is now. Um, I want to examine if, uh, those, what are those monsters called? Uh, you got, the frost, you got the Bumps. frost man, that's the only thing you Badger can see right now. But other than that, you can't see what's underneath the ground. Oh. 
they haven't popped up. So you can make Rothman, I guess. Uh, how many? Uh, how far can I go? Thirty feet. And you can move up to thirty feet. Yep. Um. Also, I don't think I'm not sure if you can do knowledge checks with him. If so, like they're they're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't we have a joke about that, Kitty? <laughs> anyway, you, you could probably attempt a knowledge check, but I'm not sure it's gonna get you very far. I'm sorry. Can you? What was the joke? No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Knowledge check. Yeah, check you you mind. can do a knowledge check, uh, but like I think you take a pretty hefty penalty on them. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I will uh, take flight. Go okay. up twenty feet. Okay. And I'll move up. What good is a meat shield if it runs away? Around here. Ah. Okay. And what else can I do? Uh, I don't know. I don't think you have any ranged weapons with him, do you? Nope. Okay. So that's probably going to be it. Uh, you can't cast okay. spells with it, right? Nope, I can't. You can oh. intimidate. Uh, that's probably good. But I, you I can can't see him. Garazzo basically well, you can see roar at. Yeah, you can see this guy. Frost guy. Everybody uh, I try to guy. intimidate, yeah. intimidate uh, that guy. Frost guy. Okay. Fr fr frost guy. So under skills, you can intimidate. Go ahead and roll intimidate. Large, angry smurf. Can I just say this battle is going great so far? <laughs> I mean, yeah. We, we've got badger moles and angry smurfs. And people hiding. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who caused this again? I don't, I don't even remember. Okay, so that's uh, an equal number. Um, it was either you or Abdel. Both of the, I both rolled of higher, decided. so... Uh, yeah, so I rolled higher, so uh, he saves. I expect this from Abdel, but... <sighs> oh, what? this is going to be a very interesting journey. Um, my, that Perhaps just popped too forward. Sorry about that. Wait, are you doing that, Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. I accidentally I had my I had my mouse over the next button and I accidentally clicked. So uh, that's fine. No problem. I, did a double click. I just thought I was, was like right. I, I, I thought I was going nuts. <laughs> what did I just do? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, as Roll time DMs reset. Break break the DM. Okay. So uh, Aslan's turn. So you can see a uh, uh, pretty frosty guy up there. It seems like he's cold. <laughs> I'm gonna move up here. Okay. Am I allowed to cast a skull? Yep. Can I guess glitter dust on the frosty man? <laughs> sure can. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and... Okay. Who here is a tank? None of us. Great. Woo! And? Maybe someone should have done that before we decided to fight. Yes, perhaps. Yeah, Aslan. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it was totally me who decided this was a wonderful idea. Splendid. Yes. Okay, guys, guys, but I'll whisper. How about one of us distracts him while the other one attacks? Uh, I'm pretty sure that beats the DC of your spell land. Uh, what is the uh, the DC? Um, it's on your character sheet under spells. And I'll say difficulty class or DC, spell DCs by level. Uh, so 15? Uh, 15, okay, yeah. So the Frostman... Definitely gets past that. Uh, let's, see, let's see this. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have him do it. It's fine. Uh, antagonizing Frostman. It's great. Amazing. I have no interest in hurting mm. him. He started it. Um. <laughs> he. I don't think he, he started it as much as we started. at me funny. Okay. <laughs> That's all he needs to do. You are going to get any funny looks from me tonight. 
I shall also take out my heavy crossbow. Okay, guys, I have an idea. I can I can disguise myself. I uh-huh. I have that prepared. So what if I disguise myself as a frost man? Try to talk our way out of this. <laughs> try. I'm I'm not sure that'll work at this point. <laughs> we, 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 you we, never we, know. Maybe he's racist. Maybe we can get out by with by being like, oh yeah, I'm a frost man. It's fine. Well, what are we gonna use for glittery? Um. Do, do you happen to have rainbows? Just bolt them oh, with rainbows. I don't even know what that is. So we'll go with that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Whose turn is it next? Amazing. He has beachy sparkles. It's great. Uh, did you want to try your perception roll, Ryan? Sure. <laughs> Wait, what are those? Uh, sparkles. Badger moles, apparently. <laughs> do he have pokeballs? Wow, amazing. Um... <laughs> roll, roll that perception. Oh. Uh, well, okay, so let me, uh, yeah. You notice there's dirt on the ground. <laughs> uh, nope, you cannot see it. Yep. So you just have Jacko's <laughs> word to go on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Faith in me. Yilmir. Uh, yes, Yilmir. Yilmir. Uh, do I, by the way, the disguise self, uh, do I actually get that? It says it's a racial attribute. Like a trait that I get one disguise self per day. Okay. Yes. May so I? You use, can I attempt disguise self as a frost man? Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> I'll ask you if you can't. <laughs> this is just, just I'm going to disguise myself as a lump of dirt. You cannot change your creature type. Uh, I cannot can, change. You, yeah, you can appear as another subtype. Uh, I believe you're an outsider, right? Yes, I'm okay. an outsider. So. Uh, Frostmen are human, so you oh, can't. That's not going to work so, out. So they're just humans with extremely blue skin. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, ah. they're, they're they're humanoid. You don't really. You're not really sure what they are. Ah. Just the word um, Frostman pops into your head. And that's the only thing you're sure about. May I try a, not a perception check on these badger moles here? Uh, you can already see those, though. So. Well, could I see if see if I have any knowledge of them, or anything of that sort? Like. Uh, well, you, you can't really see them yet because they haven't come out uh, of ground. They're they're underground. They're just <laughs> little mounds of dirt. You can uh, actually you, you can attempt a nature check to see if you know of anything that can tunnel. Tunnel in this area. Yeah. Sure. Um, can I cast and then attempt a nature check, or or does that take my turn? No, that's that's just a kind of like a an additional action that you can take. So um, okay, then you can still uh, cast I'd a like... spell. You can still move. You can still do a lot of stuff. Okay, I'd like to cast Know Thy Enemy. Okay. Which um, let me find the spell here. <laughs> Where did I put it? Ah, here we go. Um. Okay, I actually have to go to the link here, because I'm not the person who puts down description spells for some reason. I believe it gives me a plus 10 on uh, knowledge checks. Uh, you may make a knowledge check regarding that creep type with a 10 plus insight bonus. Mm-hmm. Uh, would that help in this case? Okay, then. Um, could I try it on these creatures? Uh, do you want to do it on the badger, or do you want to try the frost man again? Oh, well, I can... uh, let's actually let's try the Frostman, as he no. seems to be the immediate. Uh... No, just so you know, on the Frostman, you have to use the other uh, attribute because you already tried. You can't really think of anything. Nothing comes to mind when you think of your nature uh, background. But maybe if you thought of uh, something locally, you can try that. Hmm. Well, he seems to be the immediate threat. So, I, can I try that with the local knowledge to see if I have any knowledge of them? Sure can. Okay, then. Let me find local knowledge. Okay. Roll that. What I roll? T- 22! With a natural... T- no. Oh, no. Not natural. Oh, oh hey, well. a, a frost man is uh, basically a hunter. They make their home in the, the, the colder regions, uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> all of them typically carry their personal belongings with them. Uh, oh, loot? M- more or less. Uh, 
but they've always been known to be nomadic. Like they never actually like you know they don't know whether or not they actually have a society or anything like that. Um, they are typically uh, rather hostile when they come in contact with oh. anybody. Hmm. Well then. Um, additionally, you you do know that uh, they are able to kind of like breathe ice, and everything's oh. colder when you're around them, and like. According to some accounts, like if people breathe, uh, if they breathe on you, they can uh, be very uh, painful if they do that. Okay, then. Well, that just made this guy scarier. Um. Hmm. Okay, um, is that my turn or may I also make movement? Uh, you did your spell, you can also move. Uh, okay, then. And that's pretty uh, much going to end it, unless you had a swift or a, a swift action or something like that. I don't believe I have a swift, a swift action. Um, I'd like to move behind Asica. Okay. But I'm in, in, uh, She's invisible, uh, by the way. Oh, <laughs> well then. I'd, I'd like to move to this space and hopefully not trot on her. There. Ninja. Um. She is ninja. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Asica. Um. You're invisible for three more turns. How long would fire breath? How long could I have fire breath? Uh, if I were to use it. Look that up. Uh, yes. All right, I got the perfect battle strategy in mind. Oh man! If I had known this was happening, I should have gotten diplomacy. I should have prepared, I should have prepared differently. How, okay. how much diplomacy? So Why do you is... think I rolled diplomacy? <laughs> Spell lasts yeah. one round per level, or until discharged. Uh, up to three oh. times during the dura duration, you can uh, breathe a cone of fire as a standard action. Uh, first cone <laughs> deals 4d6, second deals 2d6, third deals 2d6. Oh. If I were to do it straight ahead right now, who, what would, a, what would I come across, or like what would receive the damage almost? What's that? How far? Like how far would it go if I were to use it right now? Uh, it uh, is a 15-foot range. 15-foot oh. range. Yeah, it's a, it's a cone shape. Yeet. So basically, the space directly in front of you, uh, these two spaces, and these two spaces. Okay. So basically, so... you hit mounds of dirt. Maybe move and use it? And, and you don't know they're there. Oh, yeah. Mounds of dirt you I don't know about. don't know they're there. Okay. Well, I mean, he knows of my word, but, you know, mounds of mm. dirt directly ahead and doesn't help. And I forgot what a during step did. What, what did it do again? Uh, a during step lets you uh, basically be immune to uh, attacks of opportunity if you're casting spells okay. and moving slowly. Um, so basically, you'd be able to cast a spell and move five feet uh, without drawing any attacks uh, from anybody surrounding you. Okay, then I'll move forward one, like one step right there, then use fire breath. Okay. Hmm. Uh, again, you don't know those guys are there. Uh, you wouldn't actually be able to okay. the guy. Okay. No, no, no table topping. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can do a perception check first. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. What are your skills? Roll perception. <laughs> Uh. That's awesome. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, you can't see it. Yeah. Darn it. But again, um, you're still invisible, so. Yeah, you, know, you could pr probably sneak up right yeah, next you, to him. And you then... can go right up to the frost man if you want, and. and I, you're, I can't, you're, no. you're invisible. Yeah. Well. Just breathe fire on him. Wait, wait, wait. I I can I can move. I can move, uh, how many feet was it? 30. 30 feet. This 30? is up to you. Do you want to okay. end this right now? Or do you want me to make the situation a lot worse when it gets to my turn? Please, please. Please do not make the situation worse for us. <laughs> We're okay. already going to kill the people we came to study. Wait, wait, wait. wait, it's, wait. it's a 50 50 chance. It could be better wait, or second, worse. Wait, I'm not um, really hello. sure. Or, or Mr. Um, 
can I go behind him and then use another attack, or can I just move right now? Um, go behind whom? The the frostman. Can I move? Yeah, you can, you can move thirty feet. Yep. Uh, and then but keep in I... mind, you can't like walk like if you walk. All right. So if you walk to here, uh, if you then walk here, he can attack you for free. Can I go behind? Um, you can try, but you're probably going to take some attacks in order to do that. Uh, oh, actually, no, you're invisible. You're invisible, so no, you can you can walk okay. right behind him. Okay, so okay, right so behind, I... so I can go straight behind him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm risking it for the biscuit. Can you breathe fire on him? Well, can, can we've I already him? killed him. That's can, we've already... can I breathe fire on him now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do I use perception again? Um, you will. Uh, User in your channel is no. recording. Uh, what oh. you're gonna do is um, you're going to cast a spell, right? So you're invisible, okay. so you can cast a spell for free. Okay, cast a spell. Cast you are now fire. visible. Uh-huh. And you breathe. Wouldn't well, he be blind anyways, so he wouldn't be able to see her anyways. What's that? Glitter does blinds. Uh, he saved, so he, he doesn't have that effect. Oh. He, he's just oh. covering glitter. That's the only thing. <laughs> going on with him right now. User disconnected from your channel. Can, can oh. I just... oh, who who is um, Okay. Yes. Breathe. Fire on him. Okay, yeah. I cast fire breath on him. Okay. Great on him. All right, so you're going to uh, then breathe fire. That's a standard action. Uh, you'll solution. do 46 of fire damage. That good or okay. bad? Uh, so I want you to roll 46. So slash R, four, D six. Oh, Kitty just put it in chat for you. It doesn't slash R O space four D. Okay. <laughs> wow. That curry. That that roll though. Okay, and oh. roll another two D six for me. Oh. Slash R. Two. Wait, slash R2D. <laughs> no, two D no. Uh, 2D. Slash R2D? Yep. <laughs> so... oh, well. Why? We're doing so well on our first encounter. So Meet a him. guy. Half the team attempts to like <laughs> use diplomacy. Yeah. I I, I engage used... attack. <laughs> I miss, and then we get like some really crappy fire breath. <laughs> fire burp, basically. <laughs> the, just... the nachos weren't as spicy as I thought they were. <laughs> Smoke came out of your mouth instead of fire. Okay, so uh. Ninja, um, are is there anything else you want to do? Um, what other um things are? Uh, okay. <laughs> what do I have you? What do I have you? Um, well, what you um, can do is you can one of your abilities is to enchant your weapon. You can do that as a swift action. Uh, it gives your um, weapon a plus one. Um, uh, what else can you do? If That's I about were it. To you've you... already moved. You've already cast a spell. So. That's pretty much um, it at this point. You can. I guess. I guess we're gonna go for it then. Okay. So enchant. Huh. Okay. So you enchant your weapon for plus one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see real quick. Gotta check something. Ah, uh, this is going great. Yep. We 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 are best. Okay. Okay. Uh, Elbel, you're. Okay. You're um. The, the uh, about that, um, the moving rubble, uh, I want to do a perception check to see if they're still there. Go ahead and do it. Eventually, I'll get a bad roll. Okay, that's a good roll. Yeah. Okay, so you can now... Oh, it. there we go. Oh. And you're free to do as you will with them. Just realize they're uh, in the ground. They're in the ground. They're still underground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I uh, use I use my uh, unseen servant. 
Okay. Oh, I Didn't Jacko tell us about them? Uh, yes, but that doesn't mean you can see them. You just think they're there. Oh, okay. They were, they were described as, as being there. Hey, there's some moving mounds of dirt. Guys, so I'm, I'm not great. What servant. are you going to do with Unseen Servant? Uh, I'm going to uh, move my Unseen Servant um, onto the spot of the moving rubbles and dig to see if there's anything there. Can, is that a thing? It's a thing. Do I find anything? Uh, hold on one second. Did I find anything? Okay, I'm going to have you um, roll... It has a two. Hmm. Uh. I'm going to have you do this. Need help? Um, well, do you have a, a recommended way to have this happen? Uh, so he's sending gonna... Unseen Sermon to go and dig those cute little badger models out, right? Yeah, I was going to have him roll a, um, a a CMB with the Unseen Servant, but that's going to be extremely, like, uh, probability. But yeah, the yeah. thing, yeah, the thing is, I'm pretty sure the moment the Unseen Servant gets hit, it's just, it just yeah, goes. Yeah, well, it's invisible, mindless, <laughs> shapeless, and it performs simple tasks. It can actually be killed. Mm -hmm. Ah. They can't be killed, but then the thing is, they they basically can't attack either. Yeah. They're yeah, in they forest. They, they just... So, I would say... Honestly, I would just say he digs out one of the moles. Okay, that's fine. Huh? Like, basically the, the, basically, the dirt will be cleared away, and then one very sparkly badger mole will poke his head out. <laughs> 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 the uh, heck so which is one, that? Which one are you digging, then? Probably this one. Right. Uh, I was thinking... That one. Okay, sure. Okay. So that one and you guys, everybody can see that one now. I okay, stick the um... icon of a like I own it or something. Then you know. Mm. What? Uh, I, I got it. <laughs> well, at least we'll know how big these things are. <laughs> Watch them be the size of a house. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's eyeballish enough. Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, Whoa. so that was your spell. You cast a spell. Uh, you can still move. And you can still do a uh, swift action. <laughs> uh, what's a swift action again? Um, some abilities give you a swift action. Um, if you're not sure you have any, you probably don't. Uh, I'll just end my turn here. Okay. Or can I shoot? <laughs> uh, nope, you cast a spell that round, so you can't shoot. Okay, I right, end my turn. Okay. Alright, so the Frostman is somewhat melted after being freed done. So oh. he is now going to turn toward the now uh, <laughs> visible Asica and attack. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, eight <laughs> probably does not hit eight. eight. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Well. Okay, this badger is going to come after you. This <sighs> badger is going to come toward you. Oh, great. And these two badgers probably can't reach the flying guy, so they're going to move here. Good and... job of the damn badgers. <laughs> yeah, you had to anger them. You had 30 feet to... So he can actually get over here. Hey, I uh, didn't do anything. Uh, good with the job. Badgers. Good fucking up. Who put two badgers on? Oh me? man, we're we're just gonna, we're just <laughs> team immediate conflict. Um. Okay. You're doing what? great. Okay. Uh, These are at Asica. Uh, twelve and a two. The two obviously doesn't hit. Does a twelve hit your armor class? Uh, your armor class is at the top of your character sheet on the right side underneath hit points. Um, top under templates? Where's where's that? <laughs> I'm looking. 
at the very top Armor. of your hit sheet. AC. Right. Okay. AC 15. Okay. So they don't hit. Uh, okay. okay. The next two attacks are coming after you, uh, Verde. That's a seven. Do I didn't take damage? Hit. No, you don't. Nope. Oh. oh. And a 13. Do either of those hit you? I'm pretty sure they don't. I have uh, Actually, AC that's, of 16. I'm sorry, that's an 11 for the one, so don't worry about that. He's he's blind. Mm. Okay, then. I have AC of 16, so no okay. hits. So you're fine. No hits. Yeah. All right, Good so that's everybody job. there. Who angered the damn beavers? <laughs> Kale, you. So. Kale, are you just going to go back to the village at this point? <laughs> I... <laughs> Just go All right. Turn All right. So hear me out. Four badgers and a frost man. I'm out. <laughs> so <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So hear me out. A larger target, although stronger, makes it easier to hit. Right? No. All right. <laughs> it, 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 it does. It does. Sure. Yeah. Giant. All right, giant right. badger moles. Is your and... okay? Okay, well, let me... Actually, no, no. Okay, so this frost guy, he has a bow, right? Uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. But he also... Right, right, so... to him. He also just attacked with a morning star. Oh, so he has a giant face oh. as well. Sweet. Alright, well... Okay, okay, so here's the thing. So, who's this person with the arrow, like... Who's this person with the bow? Me. That's... that's... Al Bell. All Al right, Bell. all right. So, how <laughs> what how far can I walk? Okay, that's good enough. Actually, no, I'll, I'll just stay back. <laughs> Great. I hope you're not doing what I think you're doing. I, now. I blame you for all of this. <laughs> okay. You just had to take your damn bow out. Now you're not even fighting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So. I'm gonna give you the choice. <laughs> would you like to be the bigger target but stronger, or would you like the badger to be the bigger target but stronger? <laughs> <laughs> How big are these badgers exactly, might I ask? Hello? Uh, they're not, a... they're not very big. I mean, okay. I think they're considered small creatures. Small That's... house cat. Small animals. That's unfair. I really All right, to... so I'm gonna cast <laughs> enlarge. Actually, no, wait, no. Oh, oh, oh! You're lucky. All right, all right. So I can't cast it because it requires a humanoid. All right. Yes. Well, so I'm gonna cast um, enlarge person on. Um, I don't really know my crew. What's his face? Al Bell. Al Al Bell. Al Gore. I, Al Bell. I, I, I yell over the. So I'm going to cast Enlarge Person on him. Um, because <laughs> think about it. If he kills, like, Alcin, then he's going to, like, come after me with his bow, right? But if Al Gore <laughs> is, like, over here being, like, extra big, he'll block it for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> can, we, can we murder? So are uh, you, like, all talk right now? <laughs> That's exactly what he is. Uh, so I cast Enlarge Person. Great. On, on Al Gore, Al, Al, whatever. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just gonna call you Al Gore. So, keep a mental note of this: your your uh, AC is minus two. Uh, your strength goes up by two, I think. Let me. <laughs> is it, is this AC? Al Gore or is this me? Uh, Al Bell. All right, Al Al Bell. Uh, he just made it so it's impossible for things to not okay. hit you, so... So yeah, it, well, it's plus two strength, minus two dexterity, and minus one on AC. Oh, that's not as bad, okay. Um, so effectively your, your AC is going down by two, among oh. other things. Alright, and then I can still move, right? Uh, He's gonna move further back. He's gonna move further back. He's move? going to move behind the giant person. I moved I'm pretty 15 sure you, feet. Can I grab yeah, you, you already moved and you cast your spell, so unfortunately you are. Alright. You're pretty well done. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. So I'm Lance of Meat Shield? <laughs> no, you're my Meat Shield. I just uh, happened to be here. Go get him, Tiger. 
Oh my god. Great. Great. Okay, look, it, my original plan was to use it on the Star Trek cat. <laughs> but... <laughs> things change. <laughs> Is there a reason these things happen to change? <laughs> okay. First of well, all, he called me Elsa. He called me Elsa, okay? Carrazzo, go ahead. 